sermon title is Time is Running Out, So Be Ready. The introduction of the Holy Spirit would like for me to talk about the extreme urgency. Uh, being ready for the rapture. As it could happen at any moment. And to convey how horrible it will be during the tribulation for all those who are left behind. The musician Rob Thomas once said, I'm waking up at the start of the end of the world. But it's feeling just like every other morning before. How can we as Christians spiritually apply this code to our own lives regarding the extreme urgency for us to be prepared for the rapture at all times. Please come to Matthew chapter 24 verse 38 to 39 which says for in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Also in verse 42, Jesus says, Therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Amen. And also in verse 44, Jesus tells us, So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Amen. Why is it crucially important for us to always be ready? To go with Jesus in the rapture at any time. It is because what will happen immediately after the rapture is the tribulation, which will be an unimaginably terrible time in which the Antichrist will rule over the entire world. What will it be like for those left behind during the tribulation? When the Antichrist takes control of the whole world. Consider the following quote by the actor Tommy Lee Jones from one of his films. I have come to bring you a gift. It's a gift of pain, of course. I have come to create a new country for you. Called chaos. And a new government. Called anarchy. All for you. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 21 through 22, Jesus tells us, For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive, but for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. For a further illustration, of how tragic and scary it will be for everyone who is left behind in the rapture to try to face a tribulation when the Antichrist will rule over the entire world. Let's all consider the following fictional story. There were once two little girls who lived with their mother and baby brother. Her father was away on a long trip. 
One day the two girls met a gypsy girl playing with a very beautiful drum. The two girls wanted a drum and they both begged the gypsy girl to give them the drum to keep. The gypsy girl said, I will give it to you but only if you are really bad. Come back tomorrow and tell me how bad you were and I will see. The two girls ran home and they did all sorts of bad things such as breaking plates, letting the pet animals run out, shouting loudly and drawing on the walls with crayons. The mother told her two daughters that you do not stop being bad. I will go away and take your baby brother with me. And you will get a new mother with glass eyes and a wooden tail. This scared both of the girls very much because they both loved their mother and baby brother. But they did not believe that their mother was telling them the truth. They did not stop being bad. And they still continued to disobey their mother because they wanted the gypsy girl's drum. The girls went back to the gypsy girl and told her all about all of the bad things that they had done, asking her once again for the drum. But the gypsy girl told them, No, I never intended to give you my drum. It was just a game that I was playing with you. I thought you knew that. The girl started crying and ran home really fast to see if their mother and baby brother were still there. However, they were both gone when the two girls got home. But instead, their terrifying and monstrous new mother was there with glass eyes and a wooden tail. If we apply this fictional story to our spiritual lives, the original mother of the two disobedient little girls represents the Lord Jesus Christ. Preparing to take all those who are obedient to him away with him to heaven in the rapture. Uh, the baby brother represents all the obedient Christians who keep themselves holy and who repent from sin and who reject evil. The two disobedient little girls represent all the people who are still disobedient to the word of God. Even up to the time the rapture happens, both non Christians and Christians who are still disobedient, and who knowingly and willingly engage in sinful behavior, and who only have Jesus as their Savior but not as their Lord. These Christians will still go to heaven when they die because they have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. However, these Christians will not go with Jesus Christ in the rapture. But instead they will go through the tribulation because they refuse to repent and they still constantly disobey the word of God. The gypsy girl represents Satan and his demons. 
who keep trying to tempt us to sin and to desire evil. The gypsy girl's drum represents both sin and also evil. As it is falsely disguised as something seemingly fun, beautiful, and harmless. But it is actually a horrible spiritual distraction. Boring all those who desire to have it away from following the word of God. The monstrous and terrifying new mother represents the Antichrist who will take over the entire world immediately after the rapture. And lastly, the house represents the entire uh, planet of Earth that is left behind after the rapture. With the new head of this house, or in other words, the new head of the entire world, being the Antichrist. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, Jesus says, But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. However, although none of us know the exact day nor the exact hour, that the rapture will happen, the Bible does give us many specific clues as to what signs to look out for to let us know that the rapture is imminent. And when we examine these signs, we realize that we are now currently experiencing many of them today. Strongly suggesting that the rapture is extremely close. And reminding us that there is no time for playing around with our spiritual commitment to Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 through 8, Jesus explains to us. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginnings of our birth pains. Russia recently invaded the Ukraine. And many people are stating that this recent event may already be the start of World War III. Although these are terrifying prophesied events, which are unfolding right before our eyes, in our modern times, we must not become fearful. Instead, the correct thing to do is to remember that we are always safe and protected in God's hands as long as we are doing the following loving God loving people living a clean and holy life rejecting evil forgiving everyone and praising God at all times no one can prevent, delay, nor alter the prophesied events of the end times according to the Bible regardless of how hard they try for all those who do not repent from sin and who do not reject evil this true fact comes as unwelcome news 
real llega como una noticia desagradable. But it is still a true fact. Pero sigue siendo un hecho real. No matter how ardently anyone wishes it to be only a fictional myth. Por mucho que alguien desee ardientemente que sea solo un mito ficticio. Only the spirit and the bride want Jesus to come back as soon as possible. As we see in Revelation chapter 22 verse 17 which says the spirit and the bride say come and let the one who hears say come. Let the one who is thirsty come. And let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life, the time to repent and fix our personal weaknesses in spiritual areas of our lives is not next year. It is not tomorrow. It is today. It is right now. At this very moment. We should appreciate the here and now. Because it's only here now. As we visualize ourselves as the bride of Christ. Preparing ourselves for the spiritual wedding and the wedding party. That's considered a summary of a song. Consideremos este resumen de esta canción by the Christian singer Billy Ray Cyrus. Del cantante cristiano Billy Ray Cyrus. In this song, en esta canción, the singer speaks from the point of view el cantante habla desde el punto de vista of a man who almost got married to a woman de un hombre que casi se casa con una mujer who is now already married to someone else que ahora ya está casada con otra persona after they broke up he conveys that he could have asked her to marry him at any time and if he had done so he would already be married to her by now instead of remaining permanently cut off from her life forever because he waited too long to ask her the singer says I don't guess I ever told you Creo que nunca te dije that I went out and bought you a ring. Que salí, te compré un anillo. I even carried it around in my pocket Incluso lo llevaba en el bolsillo. waiting to say the right thing. Esperando un momento correcto. I pulled it out the other day lo saqué el otro día. but the diamond had lost its shine. Pero el diamante había perdido su brillo. Well, I know how it feels sé cómo se siente. because my eyes grow dim when I think you could have been mine I know I called just in time to be too late this is like the Christians who play with evil thinking there is still time they say sure I'll live a whole life but not today maybe tomorrow what they don't realize is the rapture could happen today tomorrow might be too late you see we must not wait to get ready to go in the rapture with Jesus we must always be ready as bad as the times are now in today's world it is still nowhere near as horrible as it will be during the tribulation as the philosopher Murphy once said smile tomorrow will be worse don't expect the world to get better it won't get better but instead do listen to the Holy Spirit urging you to take the imminent return of Jesus Christ very seriously the way we are freely, openly congregating in public 
La forma que nos operamos libre y abiertamente en público. In church right now. En la iglesia en este momento. Will not be legal nor possible during the tribulation. No será legal ni posible durante la tribulación. We must be full of the word of God now. Debemos estar llenos de la palabra de Dios ahora. And not take our quick and easy access to the Bible for granted. Y no despreciar nuestro rápido y fácil acceso a la Biblia. Because as Amos chapter 8 verse 12 tells us. Porque como nos dice Amos 8 12. People will stagger from sea to sea and from north to east searching for the word of their Lord but they will not find it. And as Revelation chapter 7 verse 14 warns us. Como Apocalipsis 7 14 nos dice. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. In a song titled, Oh No, Not I, en una titulada, oh no, yo no, the singer tells the story of a poor man el la de un pobre, who is in love with a rich woman. Que está de una mujer rica. And he asks her to marry him. Y le pide the woman initially rejects his marriage proposal. La mujer su de As the song says. Como la dice, but the answer that she gave to him. Pero la que ella le dio fue, was oh no not I. Oh no, yo no. She goes on further to say. Ella diciendo, if you were born of noble blood. Si tú de sangre noble, and I of low degree. Do you think that I could marry you? ¿Crees que oh no, not me. Oh, no, yo no. She has the scornful attitude at this point. Ella tiene esta de en este punto because she incorrectly assumes that her wealth, youth, and beauty que su riqueza, y belleza, will last forever. Para siempre. However, later on, Sin embargo, más tarde, the woman lost her wealth, gained weight, and lost her physical beauty. The song goes on to say, La diciendo, it made her think of all the times le hizo pensar en todas las veces, when she said, oh no, not I. Le dijo, oh, no, yo no. She wrote a letter to her love to come most speedily but the answer that he gave to her was oh no not me begging you may go and when you are so tired and you sit down to cry think of all the times when you said oh no not I for all those who hear this message tonight Para todos que este esta noche, but who may choose not to repent y no from their sins and choose not to reject evil de sus pecados, y el no el mal, they will all be sorry se if they are still in this same spiritual condition when the rapture happens and the tribulation begins just as a woman who said oh no not I at that time they will desperately want to go back in time to this moment tonight right here and right now and change their minds and decide to repent and be assured of going into rapture but it will be too late for all of them as we end this sermon I urge you to repent from your sins live a holy life and do say with me the spirit and the bride say come and we say come Lord Jesus come all of the glory belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and now let us all pray